Uh, you remember um, Fleming's left hand rule? What was it for? It was to figure out the force that will be applied if you put a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. So the center finger shows you, um, you know, current. So if there's a current carrying conductor which you've put and there's some external magnetic field which is in this direction and this is the current carrying conductor. The force that will be applied on this current carrying conductor will be in this direction, which means this current carrying conductor is going to move upwards. Right. That was Fleming's left hand rule. There is Fleming's right hand rule also too. Um, to, um, to find out in which direction uh, the current will be induced in a conductor, which is placed in a magnetic field and you are applying force on that conductor. Conductor is not carrying current right now, right? Because agar, uh, if the conductor is carrying current, the magnetic field will apply force on the conductor, right? In this case, there is a magnetic field, right? So this is field, this is a magnetic field. You have placed the conductor and you have applied the force on the conductor. So in which direction will current flow? So this direction, Fleming's right hand rule. So there is a field, external field, in which you've placed a conductor. It's not carrying conduct, uh, current, it's only a conductor that you've placed. And then you apply, you apply the force in this direction in the direction of the thumb so the current will be flown in this direction got it so what are the uses of this for example um, you know an electric uh, generator where you want to create current right you can have an external magnetic field in which you can put a coil or you can put a conductor and you can apply the force you can apply the force uh, using you know mechanical force or you can use the dam you know the uh, the water that falls on it that can apply force or you can use steam that can apply force. So when the force is applied in a particular direction, in this direction, the current is created. So this is Fleming's right hand rule. So there's a difference between left hand rule and right hand rule. Very important difference. What is the difference? In this case, external magnetic field is given, a current carrying conductor, which is carrying current is given. And then this field applies force in this direction on this particular current carrying conductor. In right hand rule, external field is given you apply the force and then current is created in this particular action so there's a difference okay hope it's all clear now with this we end the chapter of magnetic effects of current